Hey everybody, in this video I just want to show you a quick way to install your Lightroom export presets. Now this is different than the one-click presets for styles and things like that. Um, this is what we're going to use to um, get good settings for exporting. So to do this I'm going to go to File, Export, and what we want to do is just create a dummy preset here, a dummy export preset, so that we can make sure we know where Lightroom is putting these files. So I'm just going to click Add, and I'm just going to type Junk on there. We're just creating a dummy preset. And now I'm going to right click on that, or double, double finger click if you're on a Mac, and we're going to click Show in Finder on a Mac, or Show in Windows Explorer if you're on a PC. Now, now we know for certain where Lightroom is putting these presets. And then I'm going to go in another folder here, and this, these are the presets I want to install. So I'm just going to select them and hit Command, Copy, or Control, Copy on Windows. And then I'm going to come over here. This is the, where we created our dummy preset, and I'm just going to paste them. And then I'm going to take our dummy preset, and I'm just going to trash it or just hit delete on Windows. Now that I've done that, I need to exit Lightroom completely and uh, so that Lightroom will recognize this. We're gonna skip our backup, terrible practice, but we're gonna do it this time. All right, now the little dot is gone under Lightroom on a Mac or in Windows it's easier to know that it's, uh, that it's stopped. And now we're gonna just open Lightroom again. And then when this comes up, we're just going to go to File, Export, and here they are. These are all the developed presets that we brought in. So now, if I want to take this photo and I want to export it for email, when I click Email, you can see it's already putting in the best general settings for exporting for email. It's going to reduce the quality slightly without hurting the image quality too much and it's gonna resize it appropriate for a screen. This is gonna give us a reasonably small file size, small enough to email easily, but still look really nice even on a big screen. Uh, or for Facebook, well, Facebook doesn't show photos larger than 2048 pixels uh, on the long edge at the time of recording anyway, so we might as well resize to that to make it a faster upload. And we're just going to keep our quality pretty high on this one because Facebook's going to mess it up anyway. Uh, so we might as well give them a good amount of data to start with, but this will maximize our, down, our upload time anyway. You get the idea. All kinds of, of um, presets here for exporting uh, to, to different things. If you'd like to uh, check out more of what we do, just go to improvephotography.com. Thank you.